All right, today we're going to collect some lunar cycle data uh, from the internet and put it into this table. It's a little bit more complicated, even though you might already have some data, this is just going to fill it in. We're still going to look at the month of May, but uh, let's go to the web and get the info. So date and time moonrise is what we're going to look at. And so with this information, we'll be able to go to the calculator and select the info that we want. The uh, This is a great website, it's got lots of good info, and it puts it together nicely on a on a convenient table. So with this, uh, we're just going to refresh so that it shows us the whole month. Come on, internet. You can do it. You can do it. It's connecting, connecting. Uh, one of the difficulties with this that you can see already are these spaces. So it's going to have a little bit different. There's some days where the moon does not set or the moon ri rises uh, after it has set because the moon doesn't operate on the same schedule of day and night. Uh, as the sun does. So let's really quickly collect this data and copy it over to our spreadsheet. So here I'm going to copy and then take it over to the spreadsheet and I'm going to paste it but making sure that I'm away from the table. So I hit paste and then we put it in here and now it's all set to go. Now you can see it messed up with some of the things. That's primarily because some of these things have text that are a little bit too tall and that's okay. It doesn't mess with how many rows there are, it just makes it look weird. So keeping in mind that our month is already in order over here we're going to copy and paste moonrise and moonset the two pieces of information that we need so right click copy and paste and now that it's copy pasted all we have to do is organize this data so that it's well put together and so you gotta keep this in mind and look back here like May 3rd You'll notice the moon rose, but it never set during the day. It set just after midnight, which technically is then the next day. Uh, so if we're going to take a look at this data, we want to iron it out and get rid of all the things that are just sort of weird anomalies of this being from a web page to a spreadsheet. So leaving that first one in there, because this is just a one row block, I can select and I'm just holding control and clicking all these other dashed boxes so that the moon set times that are left blank can be removed. So now I've selected all of them and with all of those taken I can just right click and say delete and then it gives me a little option and I want to have it shift these cells up and if I do you'll see that this lines up right with the bottom and if I were to go back and check all these the things would work out correctly and so this is a really good way to make this faster. Uh, on the other side I have this May 18th date and on May 18th, you can tell that's a one row day as well. It's not a two row day like this. In this case, the sun just set during the day at 9.52 a.m., but it never rose because it was already up from the night before at 11.40, just before midnight. So I want to make sure that I leave uh, that particular time in place. And it's the very last one. It's right before, or it's right after 11.40. So this one I want to leave in place, but all the rest of these cells, whoops all the rest of these cells I want to select and delete them and then it'll just close the gap and make these line up perfectly with the days in our spreadsheet so right click and delete to shift the cells up and there you go it lines up at the bottom my one one time day is May 18th and that's lined up perfectly fine so now we're getting close we're down to percent illuminated and if I select this column you'll notice something interesting happens. This merge and center light is lit up. I'm gonna click that. And what that did is it took all the double cells that are meant to format with this nicely and it split them up. So now I can take this and select all these cells and copy them over. It turns out if you don't do that first, it's just a pain. And I tried making a video without it, but it, it's easier to see with. So there's a couple interesting things to notice. Like May 12th here doesn't have a percentage not really sure why we can interpolate that data later uh, but now all of these spots that are left blank by the merge and center we can get rid of let me skip that for just now uh, but any one of these blank in between spots those are just artifacts of the merge and center piece so let's delete and shift the cells up and then if you notice over here May 12 this one's supposed to be empty these ones should not and I'm sticking down two here on the bottom. If I get rid of these two, it'll also shift the cells up and we'll have everything lined up nicely. Now this, we can interpolate that data since we have lots of data surrounding it. But for right now, this is a perfectly good graph with lots of data about the sunrise, sunset, length of day, 
and a bunch of other stuff, including moon information, which is a little trickier to get. So hope it was useful.